Something I've been getting asked a whole bunch on stream recently is like, where is the new best place to grind, etc. and so forth. Uh, one place that's been discovered by other players is the Caves of Aldi. It's not here, by the way. I'll show you where it is on the map real quick. And this is a fantastic dungeon. I've been running it quite a bit today myself. Here it is, just in Kedjistan, sort of like right bang in the middle, just down from the Iron Wolves encampment. And it, yeah, it's a very, very good dungeon. I'm actually going to do a run in just a second to show you just how good it is. And I want to also kind of just combine two things together here and also show you how to do the, the glitch that allows you to reset the dungeon really, really easy, really, really fast so that you can grind it like an absolute crackhead. So the first thing you're going to do is take a night message wall for basically any dungeon whatsoever. It doesn't matter what level or anything like that. And you're going to pop it. Now, I've already popped one for this dungeon here. And then once you've done that, you then enter the dungeon. So just any nightmare dungeon you enter. And this is before you go to go do like all Deer's cave, right? So this is kind of a bit of a setup to making that that infinite reset thing work. So bear with me while I go through the steps here. And then once you're inside the dungeon, what you're going to want to do is just kill a couple of enemies real quick. Doesn't matter again how many. You just want to kind of get a couple dead. There we go. We're going to walk back here and then we're just going to press T and teleport back to town. Once we're back in town, don't don't like do anything yet. Just just wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just one second. Loading screen. Then we're going to use the waypoint here. It's going to press to interact with it. I'm going to go down to the nearest point, which for us is going to be the Iron Wolves encampment. We're just going to pop on there. Now, from here, we're just going to navigate ourselves over to the dungeon and then we'll do a quick run of it. So I'm going to cut to the entrance of the dungeon now. Okay, and here we are. We're going into Audia's cave. Again, in the middle of Kajitstan. And uh, we're going to do a quick run now and I'll show you just how efficient this dungeon is. It's very much in line with what we've been getting from the previous dungeons before they got nerfed. So this may not last for very long. Uh, just yeah that's worth bearing in mind this could change any day now so you know if, you, if you're in the mood to get some leveling done now is as good a time as any so we're just going to fight for a bunch of mobs here you keep bashing these barricades in usually there's a couple elites around here right now i'm not having a very good luck with having them on the main road but uh to be honest i tend not to go down the side alleys like i'll just kind of gun it all the way through like center mass and uh, personally, I tend to only pick up Ancestrals, but my bag is full right now, so I can't actually do that. I came in here. I've just been doing it uh, for the last like part of my stream, so I guess I forgot to disenchant what was in my bags, eh? We'll take a conduit. Why not? That'll speed things up. But you can see we've got triple elite packs. Oh, this is actually five elites right here. We're very good. Oh, six elites. Jesus. We're very good mob density. Now, the only downside to this dungeon is probably having to do this event here. But once you're through it, you're then into the good old reliable kill all the enemy section of the map, which is really what we're here for. This is, um, again, just like the Ruins of Eridu, uh, just like any other busted dungeon, we have the whole kill the, all the enemies thing that spawns big, massive groups of them on us once we hit like certain like numbers. So I'm just going to quickly blast through all of this. Now, you will be going a little bit slower than me because you're likely going to be picking stuff up. Again, I guess another pack of three elites here. Nice, a nice amount of shrines as well. And there's actually a ton of treasure chests in this dungeon as well. A, a, a larger than normal amount, I would say. Like, um, there you go. There's a resplendent. There's a lot of regular chests in there as well. There's another triple elite pack. This is a lot of gear. This is a lot of gear. If you're coming in with an empty bag, you're going out with practically a full one every single time. Even for me, I only pick up ancestrals. Uh, just because I'm, I'm lazy and I don't want to sort through absolutely everything. And, you know, two runs, packed. Absolutely packed. Like, full bags, full of ancestral gear. Not a problem. Very, very, very good amount of gear. And the XP in here is being proven by other more handsome YouTubers to be extremely good. Like, probably the best in the game at the moment. Or at least as far as everybody knows. But uh, don't forget, I'm going to show you just, like, how the... The final part of the the reset glitch works. Because we did that setup with the Nightmare Dungeon, right? We did all of that. We have someone hanging around here alive. I haven't played my uh, my class perfectly, by the way. <laughs> I've just been holding right-click. 
Now, once you're finished with the dungeon, instead, don't TP out, like, don't, uh, you know, use leave dungeon. Just do TP out, but to town. So press T, go back to town. Now what's going to happen is you're going to be able to re-enter this portal and the instance will be automatically reset. And you can, you can do this as much as you want right now. So you can go off, do your disenchanting right, have a little look at your gear, come back and watch this. It'll be completely reset. And uh, one thing to bear in mind is that it will always completely reset. So if like you fill up on your bags and you want to go back to town to disenchant and come back, just be aware that the instance is completely reset. See, I hope this helps. Again, don't expect this to be lasting for super long. They are doing a really good job, the developers that is, of balancing these things out quickly. But while it's here, enjoy, make use of both of these. Um, again, this uh, instant reset thing can be applied to basically any dungeon right now. So you can go ahead and reuse that for anything else that you want to do. If this gets nerfed, continue to use it or vice versa. But uh, yeah, if you found it useful, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe for more Diablo tips, tricks, and guides, and stuff, and all that, that malarkey. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.